Welcome to Electro Online. Here's step three. We're going to run the test one more time on all those individuals that tested positive because after the second time, there was still only about a 96.93% probability that the person who tested positive twice in a row actually has a disease. We want to be even be more sure than that. So we're going to run those individuals that tested positive a third time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take what's in this row right here and transfer down here and that now becomes our new sample. We have a total of 4,954 individuals that are going to be retested. 4,802 that truly have the disease, 152 that are healthy. So let's run this again. Of the 4,802 that have the disease, 98% of them will test positive again. So let's go ahead and do that. 4802 times 0.98 is equal to 4706. So we'll round it off to the nearest integer. So we have 4706, and then 2% of that will be false negatives. So we have 4802 times 0.02, which is equal to 96. So 96 will have false negatives, 4706 positive. When you add that together, we get 4802. That works. Now, of the 142 that are healthy, 96% of them will test a true negative. So 152 times 0.96, that would be, to the nearest integer, 146. 146 will have a true negative, which means 4% will be false positives, which is 6 out of 152. All right, that means that a total of 4,712 will test positive. And the total of, add this to this, that would be 242 will test negative. When we add these together, we get 49, 54, that's correct. So everything seems to add up. Now, do we have a positive predictive value that is reasonable, that we can really trust? So when people say, well, if I tested positive three times in a row, what is the probability that I truly have the condition we're testing for? So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. The true positive numbers in this case is 4706. The total positives is 4712. You can see that that ratio is very close to 1. So we have 46, 4706 divided by 4712, which is 99.87%. 99.87%. That's pretty good. So now we can say to the patient, well, we tested you three times and three times you came out positive, we're 99.87% certain that you have the condition we're testing for. It's not 100%. Does that mean there's still a possibility that you test a positive three times and you don't have the condition? Certainly there is. Is there possibilities that the test has some other problems that we don't know about? Yes, there's always test conditions, things that may happen that may throw out the test that may not make it 100%. But you can see that for the vast majority, after three positive tests, it's pretty close to certain that indeed you do have the condition you're testing for. By all means, when it comes to doing medical tests, there's never a certainty. There's always the exceptions you have to account for. But that's the way we can run with these tests. That's how it's done.